Good morning, this is Linda Cromar taking my walk. I'm doing it a little earlier because I've found already starting to feel like summer here. It's really warm. Uh, and one of the things it's actually taught in every one of the businesses that I've been part of, and I'm quite sure in yours too, and that is how the most important concept that we must learn is if we help enough people get what they want, we get what we want. But the hard part I think gets lost, especially on the internet, is that people are so concerned about getting people in that they sort of forget about how important it is to actually be looking at how you can help people. And it isn't always your business. I think that's part of what my journey has been to. Is, you know, I have to be real here. When you start out, very often, anyway, unless you've really built yourself emotionally and your personal development, then your main focus is actually that you want to make money. So, <laughs> to be able to make the transformation away from it has to be about you and what you get to what does that person need? How can I help them achieve what they want? And it may not be that they're going to buy your product. It may be that what they have, have a need for, you don't have the ability to service them. And that is the main word I want to emphasize today, is service. So much of the time, we're serving ourselves, not anyone else. What do I mean exactly by being a servant? Or a better word is a servant leader. It does not mean that you cannot make money. But we go back to that same saying, and I believe it started with Zig Ziglar and Jim Rohn. I don't know who did it first. But the main thing is, until we learn how to help enough people get what they want, what they want, not what we think they want, not what we want them to want, but until we get them to want, to, uh, to, until we get to that place in our hearts, in our minds, that we can actually think of that other person and actually totally listen and be willing to help them where they are, not where we want them to be, but where they are, and then share with them what they need for that place. They're more likely to be receptive also. Because it's not about sales techniques, it's not about closing techniques, it's not about recruiting. All of that is fine if you have some of those skills. All of that's fine to learn. But if you do it with the only purpose of, I want certain things and I'm going to get them where, however I have, available to do, that comes through in everything you say and do. And you don't succeed the way you want to, or if you do, you do it in a way that's not going to help you feel good, and it's not going to progress you to where you want to go. Now, this is pretty deep stuff today. You know, I didn't arrive at this decision or these feelings right at the very beginning of my journey either because it takes a certain amount of unselfishness to get to the place where you can truly listen to somebody and figure out what it is they're really saying they want. Sometimes they don't really know. But you can't push your own agenda on them unless it fits in with what they want. Because they're going to resist if you push your agenda when it's not in conjunction with what they want. How can you make that work for you? How can you apply that today? That's the underlying piece here. First of all, I suggest that you just stop your mind from saying, how can I get this guy in? How can I make this person join me today? Stop those kind of thoughts right now and start looking at who is this person? 
What is their needs? Where are they coming from emotionally? What have they had that has already worked? What have they had that hasn't worked? What kind of things can I do for them? And how do you arrive at that? By asking questions. Instead of being in a big hurry to say, here's my offer. Because as soon as you change the, here's my offer, to how can I serve you? What can I offer you that will help you? You have a whole different process going on. And like I said, it may not be your product. It may not be your service. It may be you simply become their friend. They're gonna love you for it if you have that attitude. And that's what I have to leave with you today. Oh, and make sure and check out that link. See if it could possibly serve you. Either way, have an awesome day. Bye for now.